Toast Tonight is a little different than other concert series in that, first of all, it's, it's free, unlike some of the other uh, events in town. Um, and also our venue is, is really a world-class production venue. We, we could bring in national acts to our stage, so we have that luxury. And what I'm very proud of is our t entertainment committee and the level of entertainment we're bringing in. We're bringing in national and in many cases international acts to the Tosa Village. And, and again, it's at no cost. It's a, it's a free event brought, you know, made possible by our sponsors. I started talking to the guys who book it and they said, would you be interested in helping us book this event, living in Tosa and working at 88.9? And I said, absolutely. We're playing bands on the radio that are playing here. For me, it was a matter of getting bands that both touched on stuff that we played at 88.9, but also bands that would appeal to this crowd. And Ken Sumka, who works at 88.9, he's one of their DJs. We've become uh, really good friends, and he asked if we wanted to do it, and, and we said, yeah. One of the biggest changes is the Rotary Performance Pavilion and the development of that stage, um, you know, in partnership with the Rotary Club of Owatosa and, and the city. Um, we have a, a jewel down on State Street that uh, we are very proud of. Never, we've never played a, on such a big stage, I don't think, before. We've never really played an outdoor venue like this. We partnered with Irish Fest, and that goes back to 1999, where I asked if I could use the word Irish Fest and call this an Irish Fest preview. And they said, reluctantly, sure, we'd like to know what's going on. And so we used their name, and then eventually they became sponsors of uh, the Irish Fest preview, which is the Wednesday before uh, Irish Fest every year. And it's an opportunity for us to showcase international talent. I was involved in the fundraising campaign as a member of the Rotary Club. That was an eight-year campaign that raised $650,000 to build a facility here at uh, the Rotary Performance Pavilion. It opened in 2009. When it opened, we felt that we wanted to continue to have a Rotary presence uh, at Tosa Tonight, who was managing the summer concert series. And I wanted to be involved in that. The sponsors that fund the Tosa Tonight efforts are actually homegrown local Tosa businesses. Sure, there are a few huge names attached to that, think of Miller Lite, but Miller is a company that was born and bred here in Wisconsin, just you know, a very short distance from downtown Tosa. So it is something that has a huge connection to the Tosa community, and they're very proud to be associated with that. This is our chance here to actually see and hang out with the restaurants because everybody's so busy working all the time. It's really fun to like come together with Les and Maxie's. And it's all, like our whole staff fights for who gets to work at Tosa tonight because you're listening to music and you're hanging out with a bunch of our customers. The general public does not see accordion enough, so this is a very, very big in moment this, for Gordon. In this kind of... Yeah. Uh, uh, Usually it's in a very yeah, small, oh, I'm going to see an accordion thing, but this is... Yeah, this is fantastic. Yeah, that's, yeah. And it's full of people. It's fantastic. Tosa tonight, great concerts, great evenings. Uh, it's spectacular. We live in the neighborhood, not too far. It's uh, something we look forward to every other Wednesday. It's great music, great venue, uh, really good entertainment, you know, top name stuff that we've enjoyed for the last few years. So uh, and it's free. And it's free. Tosa tonight is really awesome because you get to hang out with cool people, listen to some good music. It's all about the feels, the weather, the smells of the food, and everyone's having a good time. I really enjoy seeing it bring out more and more people every year. That's what we're all about. We want to give back to the community, and the more people from the community that come out to see the entertainment that we're able to provide, uh, the better off we are in uh, recruiting sponsors and keeping things going and just getting better every year. If you're looking for a great opportunity to invest in the local community as far as getting your business name out there and really interacting with the community, this venue really is something that you should consider and take a look at. 
Uh, I also think that we're probably one of the best values for a sponsorship opportunity within the festival circuit in Milwaukee. You also get a ton of marketing in return for your investment. So you can see certain sponsors of ours such as Maxi's, the Ruby Tap, Bel Air, Frederick and Medical College, Less Lucky Town, they've also received benefits from our social interactions with our patrons, and it's something that they've been able to see actual gains on within their own businesses, and it makes them feel good because they can give back to the people that give to them. We've had projects in Wauwatosa, and we feel it's important to give back to the communities we serve. The best thing about it is it's a family event. It attracts family, it caters to families, and it brings people together. Everybody comes out and enjoys it. They picnic here, they come out early, they stay late. Right. Every concert's a new adventure. So today, it's awesome, man. I, have, I got two kids and a family, and this is a family-oriented event, and it's good to see communities gathering together right now, considering everything that's going on around the world, and if everybody's just having fun listening to music and not worrying about the other things, I think that's all that matters, man, is common interest. Common interests bring people together. And when you're out uh, on a Wednesday night in a on beautiful summer night and you're looking out and there's a few thousand people out there enjoying great music and your friends and your family are there and the kids are running around and it's a great scene. It's, it's one of the things that makes Tosa great and we are very proud to be part of that. I'm just so proud of our Rotary Club for seeing the vision of building this stage to make this all possible. You know, coupled with the, the uh, Tosa Tonight board, they pick the bands that come out here and just that partnership has made this all possible. The steady growth of crowds has been fantastic. We, we are now at the point where Weather permitting, we are pretty much sold out at every every concert. If you you know for a free event, we are sold out. But it's been fantastic to watch that and and see people come out with their families and create that somewhat idyllic park music setting, family friendly setting that that we've always strived to deliver. This time it's different. I'm fairly hungry. Where do you want to go to? Eat? I say we we'll go to Maxie's, will we? Maxie's. Maxie's. I, I just think this is fabulous. I love this. I look forward to this every other Wednesday. You know, I just wanted to take a moment to thank uh, all of our presenting sponsors from Cooper Safety, ATC, um, Freighter and the Medical College as our, as our signature sponsor, and everyone involved. There's so many sponsors that make this possible that I couldn't possibly name them all. But um, on behalf of the board and myself, I want to give a big thank you for making this series possible for the community, for the artists, um, and just for music lovers throughout. From all of us on the Tosa Tonight board, we want to extend our sincere gratitude and thanks to the sponsors that helped make the 2016 season a possibility. Thank you.